Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Harmony of Dissonance. I'm your up here for tonight, capital G. Oh, we just beat up the big, big merman, and now we're gonna check out a couple of other places we can go to here in the aqueduct. Um, as you can tell, I really don't like the idea of going to the clock tower. Doesn't matter what Mega Man game it is, it's always a crappy place to go to. But, we'll have to go there eventually, anyways. So let's see what else we could find before we do. Hopefully we'll find more than just these mermen and fishmen. Oh! Evil draft. Ouch. And they come down like the instant you come close to it. Regardless. Oh. Get through. Ah, oh, if I could do that. Ah, you missed me, stupid fish. Try one more time here, because I think I can do this. Nope. That is evil. So yeah, let me start with that. Maybe we'll find a way to get past those traps. I don't know. I should know. I mean, I've beaten this game before. Two years ago or not, or either two years ago or two weeks ago, I should know, but I don't. So yeah, that didn't work out very well, so I'm gonna go back up and heal up, because I don't want to use up all my potions. I'm not gonna save the game there, because there's no point. No dice rolling today. And I'm gonna go down and see what's down here. Whoa, what is that? Is that a pipe or something? Ouch! It is a pipe, and it spits slime. It's a slime trap. Okay, good. That's a great place to like, just spam for XP, but that would take forever. I don't know how much XP we get there, but it probably isn't much. Hard gloves. Let's try it out. Oh, we don't need our night goggles here, because we can see properly. Hard gloves. Is that what they were called? Yep. Yeah. Gloves made of hardened leather. Lowers our intelligence and luck, but look at that. Plus 10 defense. Done. Coming in good old fashioned tank here. We got some bats. Our blue highlighted bats. It's back. Where are we going? So the endless passage we're going down. Down to the ground. Is that the goddess statue? I don't. I mean, it doesn't feel quite right, but oh! Run away from whatever that is. Green ring armor. Ouch! Just green ring, so ouch! I knew to jump over it, I just didn't succeed at it. Big scary thing, this. Oh, you can knock him back. <laughs> Miss me. Boom, boom. Ah. And we got it. Got it, all the XP. So, oh, it is the guy statue, and there is a secret passage. Obtains the nail of lad. Is that a relic? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. One of Dracula's body remains increases strength. Aha, strength boost. So it's true, we have to find all of Dracula's remains in the castle. I think that's what those hint that hint card was about, just to tell us if we'd find that. We wouldn't have been able to randomly guess that otherwise. Oh, we can't go this way. We have no way of breaking that. Eventually we will. But for now, we can't. So a couple of dead ends, but at least it was productive in, in finding that relic. But now it's back to the save point. 
and to get ready to go to the clock tower. Because we can't really get to anywhere else. Probably. Smack. Stupid bats. Stupid bats. Fuck off, bats. There. Got 3 XP, 5 XP, 6 XP. Haha. Alright, get past the slimes before we get cursed again. We got here five and a half. Yep, time to explore the clock tower. This time we'll roll the dice. I don't want to lose that nail because I don't want to have to fight that boomerang armor again. Not hard, but annoying. Uh, cross, let's keep it. Just zoom on through. Knife, actually, I, I like the knife. Let's keep the knife. Everything's got its perks. I like how quickly it thought you quickly could shoot off a knife. We got gold. Up we go. We got a little passage over here. All these Aha. Put them both down. Be back to the big skeletons. Okay, yeah, that's what that is. That's like the twin. This looks weird. It looks like you can like, knock that down almost. I have to keep this place in mind, you never know. Oh, I should fight through some bone fillers, but... It's not really fighting when you just have to just stand there and spin your whip. Heart max up. More hearts for us. More hearts for us. More hearts equals more happiness. Just break all the big skeletons here, and on we go. I love that move, the ice, the ice, and the dagger. It's awesome. And up we go into the clock tower proper, I think. Oh, nice. Uh oh, the specter. Ouch. It's just swinging that thing wildly. Oh, Spectre is down. As I said, the clock tower always has the most annoying enemies. Oh. Spectre is down. Up we go. I love the Arsaline skin. Oh. Pit in the pendulum. Pit the spikes pendulum of not spikes. Oh no! Come on out. And boom! Oh, come on! I landed on that. That was a cheap miss. A cheap miss. The cheap miss. Oh, we have here. Is that a map? That was badass. Just... Castle map three. Let's see what we have. Oh, it doesn't show us too much more. It shows us what the clock tower looks like, really. That's it. Oh, was there a save point nearby? It doesn't look like it. Just the one at the. Uh, just the one from the previous boss. We got nine and. Oh! Another one of those really annoying enemies, the Harpies. Standard issue, like... Standard issue in these games. I'm gonna die if I don't take this thing out right now. That is just like full of gears and moving platforms and whatnot. It's a platforming nightmare. Uh-oh. Yipes, that's not good. Baganet. Oh. Oh good, we took it down. Yeah, so we'll survive. Yeah, so... Like I guess looking at the map here, not much choice. The closest save point is... Uh, back outside the clock tower. 
Or maybe at the top of the clock. Well, no, it wouldn't be. That's too close, so yeah. We're gonna exit the clock tower here. Go back to the save point out here. And once we are all healed up and saved, we can move on and explore the clock tower in its entirety. But that will be next time. Yeah, we're already at 10 minutes in a bit here, so... Roll the dice and wrap it up. Wrap it up, re roll the dice and wrap it up real nice. This is Capital G. I'll see you in the next episode.